In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the downstream O2 sensors on this Dodge Grant Caravan. Let's get started. Now let's unplug this downstream O2 sensor. The sensor on the rear of the engine, on bank one, also known as the right side. If you just follow the wire, you'll see that black connector on the left side. That's what we have to unplug. Reach up here, press down on that tab at the top, <coughs> slide the connector out. And then it's actually clipped onto this shield over here. So just either take the wire out of the clip or take the clip off the shield with the wire. Now get your O2 sensor socket over this. Make sure that's seated all the way. Stick your ratchet on it and break this free. Turn it counterclockwise. <clears throat> there we go. To get a little bit more leverage on that. Now get your socket off of the sensor. and unthread the sensor. There it is. Now let's get the downstream O2 sensor reattached. I'm gonna thread it on all the way. There we go. Grab that O2 sensor socket, slide it over. Usually you can give it another quick turn by hand like this. And then you'll have to put your uh, ratchet on the, on the socket so you can get some leverage. Right. I'm going to just snug this up. Basically, there's a, uh, a crush washer in there that has to, well, just crush, squeeze, and that's what's going to create that nice and tight seal so you don't have any exhaust leaks. And once you, uh, once you feel like that is crushed down right about here, you're good to go. So basically, about a quarter turn after you bottom it out should be good to go. Secure the wire back onto the shield. Plug the connector back in. Make sure it clicks. There we go. Now looking from underneath in the front of the vehicle, you'll see this downstream O2 sensor. That white connector there is actually the plug for this O2 sensor. So we're gonna start by disconnecting that. Grab onto it. There's a tab up top that if you squeeze, you should be able to pull this connector out. A lot of times they get stuck because of sand buildup. Ah, there we go. Lots of sand in there. And now let's grab an O2 sensor socket. You can also use a 22 millimeter wrench if you want to, but an O2 sensor socket will usually grab onto this better. Slide it over the sensor. And turn it counterclockwise to break it free. There we go. Now just unthread the sensor. And there it is. Let's get the downstream O2 sensor reconnected. I like to put ACs on its threads so that it can hopefully come off easier next time it has to be serviced. Thread it on, make sure it goes on smoothly. All right, that's bottomed out. I'm gonna snug it up before I plug it in. Slide that O2 sensor socket over and just give it a quick snug, a little twist like that. They just have a little uh, washer, crush washer, that will, well, crush, and that's how you get it to seal up. So you don't have to crank it down a whole lot. You just have to squish that washer. Now let's plug in the electrical connector. Make sure that clicks. And there was no retainer on this wire. It's pretty short, so just make sure it's out of the way of the fans or the hot exhaust. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.